New York, AP, Howard Hessman, who played the radio disc jockey Dr. Johnny Fever on the sitcom WKRP in Cincinnati and the actor-turned-history teacher Charlie Moore on Head of the Class, has died. He was 81. Hesman died Saturday in Los Angeles due to complications from colon surgery, his manager Robbie Cass said Sunday. Hesman, who had himself been a radio DJ in the 60s, earned two Emmy nominations for playing Johnny Fever on CBS WKRP in Cincinnati, which ran for four seasons from 1978 to 1982. The role made Hesman a counterculture icon at a time when few hippie characters made it onto network television. In the first episode, Dr. Johnny Fever announces the station's changeover from elevator music to rock and roll with a record scratch and a proclamation. All right Cincinnati, it's time for this town to get down. You got Johnny, Dr. Johnny Fever, and I am burning up in here. We're all in critical condition, babies, but you can tell me where it hurts because I got the healing prescription here from the big KRP musical medicine cabinet. Now, I am talking about your 50, oh 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 what intensive care unit, babies. As he readied for one of three Saturday Night Live hosting gigs, Hesman told the New York Times in 1979 that the character made network executives nervous. In one episode, Johnny Fever is given an on-air sobriety test after being given alcohol, only his reaction time keeps improving. I think maybe Johnny smokes a little marijuana, drinks beer and wine, and maybe a little hard liquor, Hesman said. And on one of those hard mornings at the station, he might take what for many years was referred to as a diet pill. But he is a moderate user of soft drugs, specifically marijuana. Hesman played a hippie in one of his first trolls, on Dragnet, in 1967, and also in the 1968 Richard Lester film Petulia. Born in Lebanon, Oregon, Hesman wasn't so disconnected from some of the characters he played. In 1983, he told People magazine that he had conducted pharmaceutical experiments in recreational chemistry. In 1963, he was jailed in San Francisco for selling marijuana, 